Hey, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In uh, this video, we will crochet the black cat table runner because Halloween is approaching and this is uh, another fun idea to make your decorations. And uh, this table runner is made in fillet crochet technique, which is how we can create these uh, uh, wonderful images and this grid-like uh, pattern with crochet. It's uh, quite easy and I will show you step-by-step uh, step with uh, explanations how to do it and so I do recommend it for beginners. And uh, filet means uh, uh, net or mesh in uh, French. So it is just with uh, some chains and uh, double crochets that we can create this uh, net-like pattern. And my table runner measures... It's about 16 inches uh, long and 8 inches wide. This uh, pattern consists of uh, 56 rows of filet crochet and then three rounds of edge. And here's the thread that I'm using. I'm using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 10. Uh, the orange one is called pumpkin and this is uh, just black. So they both have 350, 350 yards in one ball and one of each is enough. This 100% mercerized cotton and crochet hook is size 1.75 millimeters. In this uh, tutorial I will use this neutral color. It is also Aunt Lydia's uh, crochet thread size 10. It's just uh, because it's easier to follow this color than uh, black. And uh, filet crochet is easy to do, just need to follow the chart. So here's my black cat. It has total of uh, 56 rows. And so how we uh, read it is uh, starting with the first row here and all the odd numbered rows are going to be right side, first row right side. So we are going here from right to left. And to have a closer look here on a chart, so the second row starts on the left but of course you turn your work just reading the chart this way and uh, even numbered rows are going to be wrong side so you read the chart going from left to right and third row again right side starts from here so you'll see the pattern starts on the fourth row wrong side and to help you um, uh, keep track of your pattern it might be easier just to place another sheet of paper over your chart just displaying this row that you are currently working on and moving it up on each row and filet crochet uh, consists of uh, two uh, blocks these white squares are called open blocks and black squares are called solid blocks and um, open blocks consist of um, uh, two chains and uh, one double crochet and solid blocks consist of uh, uh, three double crochets And our chart here says that we have to make 22 blocks. So uh, three stitches uh, of each block, it means a total of 66 uh, chains uh, plus 
five for that to start the first open block. So total we will start with 71 chains. So as usual, first make a slip knot and now make 71 chains. And with the foundation chain made, we can start the first row. And to do that, we need to double crochet in the eighth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one. So this is our first open block. We have two chains for the base, three chains for the side, and two chains for the top of the first block. And to make these open uh, blocks, I uh, need to chain two, yarn over, skip two chains, and double crochet in the next chain. Chain two. Yarn over, skip two chains, double crochet in the next. Chain two, skip two, and double crochet. Now continue all the way to the end. And my first row of 22 open blocks is made. And now, second row. Reading the chart starts from here, will be uh, wrong side, again 22 open blocks. And to start each new row it's going to be the same, chain 5, so 3 chains for the side, 2 chains for the top of the first block, then turn and double crochet in that next double crochet. This is the beginning open block and then continue two chains and now double crochet in the next double crochet. Two chains and double crochet. And also to finish each row is the same chain two and then this is the opening open uh, beginning block find a third chain here and make your last double crochet in it and then starting row three again chain five first turn and double crochet in the next double crochet And row three is the right side again, starts from here, same uh, 22 open blocks. And again to finish the row, chain two for the last open block, count third chain here, it's the middle one of the five, and double crochet. And starting row four, chain five, four, five, turn and double crochet in the next double crochet. Starting to see the uh, grid pattern. And on the fourth row the pattern starts and it starts here from the left side so we need to count these blocks first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten open blocks to do and then the two solid blocks and then ten more open blocks so i'll do my ten open blocks first And 
and to make the two solid blocks next uh, we need to do two double crochets in that next chain space two and one in a stitch that's the first one and again two in a next space and one in the stitch two solid blocks are made now continue with 10 open box chain two double crochet chain two double crochet and now row five we need to start counting the blocks on the right side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven open blocks. Again, two solid blocks. That means nine open blocks to finish. And chain five. Turn. Double crochet. Make now eleven open blocks. And now we can do the two solid blocks. So double crochet in each next three double crochet. And then double crochet two in the next space. One in the next stitch. Continue with open blocks and make nine. And now row six starts from the left side, counting open blocks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two solid blocks. That means 12 open blocks on this side. And after eight open blocks, we'll do two solid ones. So here above the open block, we double crochet two in that chain space and then one in that next double crochet. And the second block above the solid block, we just double crochet three, one in each next stitch and here we continue with open blocks you see you have three double crochets so chain two skipping two double crochet in that next finished my Six row here and row seven starts uh, from this side and it's exactly the same so we first need to do the 12 open blocks two solid blocks and then the eight open blocks twelve open blocks made and then the next two solid blocks are going to be above the solid blocks of row six so we just double crochet in each double crochet here that's the first solid block and the second continue with eight open blocks And row eight starts from the left side. You see it's exactly the same again. So start with eight open blocks, two solid blocks, and then 12 open blocks. And row nine is again the same. Start from the right side to read the chart. 12 open blocks, two solid blocks, eight open blocks, so I do my first five chains, turn, 
turn and do the 12 open blocks first then two solid ones and then eight open ones and row 10 starts from the left side so here we do eight open blocks first then we need to do three solid blocks and then 11 open blocks so I turn my work and you see here are going to be the eight open blocks so let's do that first and next uh, three solid blocks that's the first the first two are above the solid blocks of previous row and now one more this will go to uh, two double crochets in a chain space and one in the next stitch so this is now three solid blocks and continue with open blocks to the end of this row and row 11 we read the chart from the right side and this is first 10 open blocks, 3 solid blocks, then 9 open blocks. So, and so I made my 10 open blocks here first. And now 3 solid blocks. The first one goes into this next chain space, uh, two double crochets one double crochet next stitch now two more uh, solid blocks so make three double crochets for that second block and three more for the third block And next is going to be open block, skipping these two double crochets, double crochet in the next stitch. And continue with open blocks to the end of the row. And now row 12, we read the chart from the left side to nine open blocks, four solid blocks and nine open blocks. And to show you on the work so this is a uh, finished row 11 we turn and here we do the uh, nine open blocks first and let's do the next four solid blocks together so these are the three on the previous row so that means we just double crochet one in each uh, stitch here and then we'll have to just do one more to have total four solid blocks so these are the three above the three blocks on previous row and one more we'll go into that next chain space make two double crochets and one in the next stitch now we have four and continue with nine open blocks on the other side and finished row 12 now turn to start row 13 and reading the chart from the right side first is one two three four five six seven eight open blocks so here until here then four solid blocks one two three four 
and then 10 open blocks on the other side. And you see how this uh, repeats. Keep doing the same all the way until you finish row 18. It's the tail. And then uh, let's do a few more rows together uh, with uh, for the body to show more solid blocks. And uh, I will uh, next uh, give you that uh, chart here so you can uh, pause the video and follow the chart uh, and i also have a link to my blog where you can see the whole chart it might be easier this way to uh, work on this and i finished 18 rows so the tail is made and I already turned around, so I'm ready to start row 19 from here. And counting the blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six open blocks first. Then we need to do nine solid blocks, then finish with seven open blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six open blocks first. And now let's do nine solid blocks. So one here, then this is uh, four, and then four more here. So the first one goes in chain space. And here we know this is four, just double crochet one in each stitch here. So five made. Now four more into these next open blocks. One. Two. three and four and finish the row now with open box and finished row 19 now Turn around and row 20, we read the chart from the left to five open blocks, then 12 solid blocks and five more open blocks. Five open blocks, next uh, 12 solid blocks, so two here. Then this was nine on previous row, 11, and one more here, 12. And then finish the row with five open blocks. And finished row 20 with five open blocks. Now turning around. And reading row 21st from the right side, we first do four open blocks. Then uh, looks like this is 14 solid blocks and finish with four open blocks here. And now continue this way uh, each row. I find it helps to uh, follow with adding these little arrows on each row and do this all the way and finish row 53 that's the last row of the pattern 
I have finished uh, 53 rows now and the chart shows that uh, I need to make three more rows of just open blocks uh, same as uh, here in the beginning and I'll do that next And I finished last three rows of the open blocks and I'm going to now cut off my main color thread. And fasten off. And after cutting off the thread here, when all finished, I will turn it around to face it this way, just like the chart shows, this ear up here and the other one here on the left side. And we can now do the uh, two rounds of edge. The first round I'm gonna make with my contrast color orange. So make a slip knot first. And then I'm going to join it here in the upper right corner. Insert your hook through this beginning stitch here and pull the slip knot through from the back to front. And then chain three. Now chain two more. And this works like same as we did the open blocks. So three chains count as double crochet and two chains. Now double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two double crochet in the next chain two double crochet in the next now do this all the way to the last block and to make this corner so chain two more and now find the middle third chain and make a double crochet in it here. Then chain three and double crochet now in that same chain, same stitch. Then chain two and now we need to double crochet in each of these uh, side uh, spaces of these uh, stitches. So we continue the grid pattern. And I'm now at the first lower corner here. So we do the same, chain two, then insert your hook in this space here where the corner is, double crochet, then chain three, and double crochet in that same stitch. And now continue along the bottom edge, same way, chain two and double crochet in that next double crochet.
and then do the uh, next corner same way so here you find that middle third chain and insert hook in there and do a double crochet three chains and double crochet and then all the way back up along the second long edge and then we finish the round together and to finish chain two and then double crochet in that same stitch where you did the beginning three chains and now chain three for the last corner and slip stitch in that third beginning chain And now cut off the thread, fasten off and we actually have two more rounds to do now going back to my main color so the edge has a total of three rounds not two as I said before so the second round, I'm going to join my main color in this beginning three chain space and make a single crochet right here. And then make three more single crochets in the same space. So total four in corner space. Next single crochet in that next stitch then single crochet in the next space single crochet in the next double crochet stitch and single crochet one in a chain space and repeat one in a double crochet stitch one in a space And in the corner, three chain space again, make four single crochets. Two, three, four. And then next goes in the next stitch. And again in a space. One in a stitch. And one in the space. And repeat this all around. Make four single crochets in each corner space. And to finish this round, just slip stitch in that first single crochet. And starting the last round, chain one and single crochet in that same stitch. Next, half double crochet in the next stitch then make two double crochets in the next stitch chain two and two more double crochets in that same stitch half double crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch and the first short edge so here on that last round short and long sides are different so we're doing the first short side now after single crochet make half double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet in the next stitch chain two and double crochet in the same stitch half double crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next 
and repeat half double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next chain two then double double crochet in the same stitch half double crochet in the next single crochet in the next and repeat till the next corner and here these are the four single crochets uh, of the corner i did single crochet here next uh, we'll do half double crochet in the next stitch and then in this next again we'll, we're gonna do first two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets in that same stitch next uh, half double crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch and we start we start the long edge long side it's different now uh, after single crochet we still do the half double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet in the next and now what's different make another double crochet in the next stitch chain two double crochet in the same so we just have more double crochets here and then double crochet in the next stitch and then again half double crochet and single crochet after single half double crochet then double crochet in the next stitch again double crochet in the next chain two double crochet in the same and then do double crochet in the next half double crochet single crochet and repeat and here i'm um, at my third corner did a single crochet here i have three more single crochets left here in this corner space i made on last round and do the same corner here half double crochet in the next and then two double crochets in the next chain two and two more double crochets in the same one two and again half double crochet in the next then single crochet and now repeat uh, the short corner uh, short side half double crochet then double crochet in the next and then two chains double crochet in the same stitch half double crochet single crochet half double crochet double crochet two chains double crochet in the same and repeat and finish this uh, second short side to the corner the same and then repeat the second long side so just uh, here we do 
four double crochets in the middle instead of two and when finished with all the stitches on that last side we will finish the round with a slip stitch in a first beginning single crochet stitch so here's my this is my last half double crochet and slip stitch first and now cut off and fasten off and next weave in all the ends and you see how curvy it is right now and not in a great shape so um, definitely need to block it i will make it uh, wet first and then stretch it out on my blocking mats and so use the pins to attach it and just stretch it into a great shape and i also like to use uh, some uh, spray starch to give it a firmer shape and here are some uh, photos how i block it Here's my finished table runner and looking much better after blocking. So I definitely recommend you do that when you finish your table runner. And I hope you have fun making your own cat table runner. You will find the, the written pattern on my blog and the link is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting!